Alright, yeah, welcome back to some more Magic Arena, and today we're going to be showcasing an Enigmatic Incarnation deck. So this was one that we were tweaking during the streamer event, uh, the sponsored streamer event by Wizards of the Coast, so thank you very much, Wizards, for doing that. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, this card is kind of like Vanifar for enchantments, but it's a little bit weird in that it sacks an enchantment but gets a creature. So unless you're getting an enchantment creature, it's hard to chain them together. So uh, this one ended up going through a number of tweaks in the video that you're going to see today. Uh, but what came out of it was a really interesting and, I don't know, weirdly consistent deck, I would say. So the incarnation is a four mana enchantment. It says at the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice another enchantment. If you do, search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost equal to one plus the sacrificed enchantments converted mana cost put it onto the battlefield and shuffle your library. So basically what we do is we sacrifice uh, two mana cost enchantments and we get three mana cost creatures, which is either Dryad or Citizen Champion. We can sacrifice three mana cost enchantments, which is Gift of Paradise or Dryad of the Elysian Grove. And we can get four drop creatures, which this is where it gets spicy because the four drop slot is a little bit awkward uh, currently in standard, but we have some one ofs here. Um, We've got Archon of Sun's Grace, which is a 4-mana 3-4, Flying Lifelink, gives Pegasus Lifelink, but the reason we're running it is because of the constellation that says whenever an enchantment ends the battlefield under your control, you make a 2-2 white Pegasus creature token with flying. We also have Shimmerwing Chimera, which is also an enchantment creature, which means we can sack it to go up to our 5 drops, which is our Cavalier of Dawns. But Shimmerwing Chimera is a 4-mana 3-2 that says at the beginning of your upkeep, you may return up to one other target enchantment you control to its owner's hand, and there's a number of reasons why we'd want to do that. Some of our enchantments are actually um, sagas, Metamized Prophecy being one of them, and we've got Omen of the Sea, which is like an enchantment version of Preordain, so being able to reuse these is very nice. Uh, bouncing Metamized Prophecy before that Chapter 4, which isn't really neat needed, um, then we get to actually reuse it all over again and use it as a card advantage monster, but we kind of have that going anyway. Uh, but yeah, we get to reuse them. We've got life gain that we can bounce with the Gift of Paradise, for example, and we can just rebounce enchantments in general to trigger Archon of Sun's Grace to get those 2-2 white Pegasus with flying and lifelink. We also have Alayla, Artful Provocateur, which I believe I discussed during the video, and I do stand by this, that this actually probably wants to be like a two of in the deck because it's really cool. It's kind of a similar situation to the Archon of Sun's Grace, uh, in that whenever you cast enchantment spells, you actually make a 2-1 flyer, thanks to Alayla. And it also gives flyers you control, plus 1, plus 0. And a lot of our win cons are actually flying-based. Everything in our 4-drop slot is a flyer, so we're sacrificing these 3-drops, things like Dryad that we're not going to really need in the late game, or Gift of Paradise when we have excess mana. And we're going to get these 4-drops, and they're going to start pumping up all of our flyers, so we have 3-2 flyers from the Archon of Sun's Grace, and we get the 2-1 flyers from Alayla. And Shimmerwing Chimera is a 4-2. Things like that are really useful, and if we don't need uh, a Shimmerwing anymore, if we've got a spare one, then we go right up to Cavalier of Dawn, and Shimmerwing becomes a removal source. Cavalier of Dawn, allowing us to destroy any non-land permanent that we see fit to create a 3-3 golem in its place. And when it dies, you get to return an enchantment from your graveyard to your hand. So this is one of the few ways that we've got to recur... Um, the enchantments. I think there are a few tweaks that I want to make to this deck. It's definitely one that I want to revisit in the future, but as you can maybe see, I don't have the rares right now. Um, I can technically craft them, but if I do that, then there's a lot less packs I can open before I start opening gems, so I've got to be uh, careful with how I craft my rares, as it were. So uh, It's not one that I'm going to be tweaking for a while, so you'll see this one in the future at some point, but probably not anytime soon. And then right at the end, we've got Planar Cleansing, which we can actually justify the Destroy All Non-Land Permanent side. The three white is not too difficult to pull off, since we've got the Gift of Paradise, who adds two mana of any one colour to our mana pool. So that's two of the three uh, white mana we need for Planar Cleansing. We also have Dryad of the Elysian Grove as well, which says our lands are every basic land type. So basically, at turn six, we've got uh, six white mana in that sense. So it's very easy to actually cast Planar Cleansing, and the reason why we don't really care if we cast Planar Cleansing is that our established board state can just return in a matter of moments. We've got Dance of the Mance as a three of in the deck. Uh, white, blue, and X to return up to X target and artifacts or non-aura enchantment cards. 
with converted mana cost X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. And if X is 6 or more, those permanents become 4-4 four, four creatures in addition to their other types. So it actually, uh, in Shimmering Chimera's case, it actually powers up the power and toughness, making a 4-4 four, four flyer, which is pretty cool. Uh, we also get all the ETBs from it as well. So we've got things like Setters and Champion, uh, which whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield, we get a 1-1 one, one counter and draw a card. So for each enchantment that enters the battlefield, we're going to draw millions of cards off of that. Uh, we don't get anything off the cast here, unfortunately, uh, but we do get something like Archon as well, which has that ETB to make some 2-2s. Two now, it has to be said that uh, Planar Cleansing will get rid of these creatures, and they're not returnable, which is why I kind of want two Alelas in the deck, because uh, one game that we do have, we actually want our second Alela, uh, but obviously it's not in the deck at the time, so, uh, you know, it's probably one of those that needs to be a second. I'm not entirely sure we even need to go up to the 5 drop for the Cavalier, since we've got the Planar Cleansing. We could actually cut both of these and add a Planar Cleansing and an Alela. That might actually be just an upgrade to the deck. I haven't tested it out, so it's, uh, it's a matter of um, trial and error, really, as to find out which cards that we really want. But this deck ended up being quite smooth after the change. This was inspired by a subscriber deck by C. Mary, so thank you for the original deck idea. We ended up working on it on stream. There's a little bit of changes uh, happening throughout the, um, the video today as well, as I mentioned, so... Uh, you won't see this deck as it is right at the very beginning, but towards the end when we're doing our thing, it's going to be this final list. Hope you guys enjoyed this deck tech anyway, and hopefully get you guys enjoy this deck list. It is a super sweet and really interestingly difficult deck to pilot as well. Uh, you've really got to know what's in your deck at any given time, since you're going to be sacrificing things to get other things. You've got to know your know your counts and things like that. So I highly recommend a deck tracker like I have. I don't have it in the video, unfortunately, but I don't think I ever run into a, uh, a situation where I'm sacking things without knowing what I'm going to grab. So yeah, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you do enjoy this kind of content and you want to see more of it. As again, as I mentioned, thank you very much to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring the video, sponsoring the content that you have today. Greatly appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get the gameplay going and I'll see you there. Yeah, Man of Might, it's really, it's awkward is what it is because you want to be drawing the cards when it's naming what you're going to be playing. It's also giving away what's in your hand as well, which is really bad. I think I like Omen of the Sea more than Metamize thingamajig. Alright, we're going to keep this. Mm. Obvious reasons. It's got some stuff in it. Got my add 3 fairy. Yeah, maybe. Alright. Pass. That's flash. I need to learn to actually flash these things. Some crispy ASMR, hell yeah. Chili Heat Wave Doritos. It's my jam. Um, Probably not. Nice lands and lands. Now I really wanted that Dryad. Okay. That's how we're going to play it, is it? Gift of Paradiso. Alright, so we can get Incarnation down next turn. We can go Sack Omen of the Sea on end step into a lot of things. Set as in Champion. Um, what else have we got? The Dryad. Opponent's playing Boggles. So we want to find Plane of Cleansing really quickly. Second Incarnation does get us Carb, so that's true. I loved Bounty of the Luxor, to be fair, though. I thought it was, uh... Well, in the Magic Jewels era, anyway, it was pretty solid. So we can get another Incarnation, or we can go for a 3-drop. I think we want to... I think we want Setters and Champion. Hmm. Then again, when Bounty of the Luxor was out, it was definitely a slower format, so you could get away with it. So, Incarnation can sack Incarnation and get us Cavalier if we want it. Kill Starfield Mystic. 
It is happening. We're doing a thing. We can also set this gift of paradise to get an incarnation. Home of the sea to get... I'm oh, sorry, not an incarnation. We can get a... Um... Shimmering with uh, Gift of Paradise, which allows us to bounce enchantments and reuse them. So now we've got a tutor kind of set up. Calyx, Destiny's Hands. I'm going to minus on Starfield Mystic to get rid of my champion. Looks like it. Rip my card draw. My light banishes you. My light banishes you. Yeah, I bet it does. All right. Uh, let's play a forest, put this on the Gift of Paradise. And I think we'll Incarnation. We'll see what we can do with Incarnation. So, one Incarnation gets rid of the other. Gets me Cavalier of Dawn, which kills Starfield Mystic, which gets me my Citizen Champion back. This one gets me... Gift of Paradise gets me Shimmering Chimera, which at the beginning of my upkeep, I get to return an enchantment I control to its owner's hand, so we get to reuse our enchantments. We're doing it, chat. This is it. This is what we were trying to do. Chain together, advantage. Alright, they get to find some auras, but Calyx is dead now. Doing a thing, but is it a good thing? This is true. Banishing Light, rude. What do you banish? Do you get rid of Champion for the card draw or Chimera for the reuse of my Omen of the Sea? Excuse me. It's a problem no matter how you look at it though, opponent. Set as in Champion. No land drop. Oh, we're playing the greed roll. All right, so we're gonna bounce Gift of Paradise. Uh, let's see. Where do we want to go from there? We're going to kill Calyx. We're going to swing through our opponent. We're going to play loads of omens and whatnot. So let's... Gift of Paradise of the Forest. I, I wish I had um, an upkeep stop so I could flash this omen in and then bounce it to the Shimmer Wing. Uh, but this should work out just fine. Now we can play Dryad, draw cards. As plain a cleansing, we love to see it. Get Omen out, draw a card. We'll draw and then we'll scry. No, no. Metamized Prophecy, okay. So you're dead. You're taking a beating. And then we get to start sacking things, entering the battlefield, set as in champion, triggers, 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 triggers. Can you omen before the Chimera's trigger? Yes. If you did a stop, you could do it in response to this, uh, this trigger, which is what I wanted to do. So if we didn't have Cavalier, we could sack this to get a Cavalier. Uh, Dryad would get us the Shimmer Wing. This is only the only thing this actually gets us, unfortunately. Uh, so we don't want to sack threes anymore. We only want to sack the, the twos. Uh, let's get set as in champion, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Now we're drawing two cards off of all of our enchantments. Did we cook Kiora's in the end? Uh, I think I left it in. I didn't want to change it too much. Feeling a little bit bad. <laughs> is it going to get rid of the incarnation now? Or is it champion? Yeah. Hemorrhaging life totals. It's fair. And um, banishing light for the other one. Wish I could bounce Cavalier of Dawn. That's one thing that I wish I could repeat over and over again. Maybe there's an opportunity to do that some way. Alright, uh, we are going to bounce nothing, I guess. We don't really need to. Another plane of cleansing. It's a thing, alright. 
Planet cleansing does a lot. It does a lot. It gets us back two setters and champions. We're left with three mana. So we can play Metamized Prophecy, draw two cards. Hmm. It's an opportunity. But maybe we just don't need to do it right now. Yeah, we'll just Metamized Prophecy for now. Oh, Dance of the Mance, that's what we're looking for. All right. So we're going to draw that next turn. Might as well get the Incarnation back, I think. And do nothing with this. Decline, decline, because we want to draw the Dance. The Dance does things. Add more calves instead of those, maybe. Yeah. I might want a second Shimmer Wing so we've got more 4 drops to hit. Because we can go 4 drop into the 5 drop and then get another Chimera or something like that. Do -do 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 -do. The first of Rowan games. Alright. Cool. Make a Duder. Draw some cards. This looks like a plane of cleansing right here. Alright, so what do we want to keep? After all is said and done. Uh, do we just want to bounce? I think we just bounce an incarnation. Keep one of those in hand. It's not really going to matter because we're just going to dance for the max amount. Uh, the next thing we're going to play is going to be Enigmatic Incarnation. Uh, we have a 3 damage attack. Have you seen the song out of Pulp Fiction? Well, it's in here because of Pulp Fiction. It's a banger. Alright. It doesn't really matter what we named with uh, the prophecy since we're blowing up the world. But uh, here we are. Cavalier, uh, you can give me this Omen of the Sea. And I will play this Omen of the Sea and draw two cards. But first I will scry two and draw two cards. Metamize Prophecy? It's a thing, alright. Have we made our lander up this turn? We probably have, right? I'm just going to go for the real good stuff. Oh, we hadn't made our lander up. Dang it. Okay, so it's dance max. Boom goes the dynamite. Hell yeah. We're going to be uh, Xing this like crazy. Need to do it at least X6. We're going to... Oh, we might even deck ourselves with these setters and champions around. The amount of enchantments are going to enter the battlefield. <laughs> We're going to get pretty close. We've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight enchantments we can get. That's eight four fours. Drawing 16 cards. Playing additional land drops because there's a dryad in there. First of own games. All right. Called decking yourself with champions a win. Me too. Me too. Alright, we said eight, didn't we? That, 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 that. Oof. <laughs> yeah, alright. Uh, let's just draw lands because we've got the dryad around. Okay, um, yeah, I'll have that gift of paradise, I guess. Alright. Nice. There's another dance of the manse. Alright, so forest, and that's it. Alright, attacking with two eight tens. Oh, look at Metamized Prophecy when it's the creature. That's pretty cool. Looks like they've actually, like, lined up the artwork to look pretty cool that way. I don't even know if we've got a 3-drop left. Let's find out. 
Yeah, we do. Dryads. Draw two. <laughs> yeah, we did keep Kiara Best of Sea God in here. Sack another enchantment? No. Who needs to sack enchantments? Alright, let's have a look. Omen of the Sea. Incarnation. Land. Gift. Omen of the Hunt. Omen of the Hunt. Uh, breeding Poo. Metamized Prophecy. God, it's so hard now. There we go. Scarred some more. Guess we'll keep going for the lands. They're not ultimately important. Alright, they put three counters on a creature they control. Yeah, as a, as a dance deck, this is uh, it's pretty sweet. I think it needs balancing on its colours, though. On its colours? On its mana costs. It is lacking for sure in those uh, those areas. This, I think, should be able to hit several times over, not just once on, like, Shimmer Wing. Things like that. Which might not be something we'd be able to do. Who knows? Alright. You're dead. All the glitters. Why not dance with Kiora Best of Sea God? I mean, you could. I'm just going to play him. Come across any Hakdos decks yet? No, we have not. Alright. Uh, yeah, we don't want to bounce anything. We just want to get on in. Choose a card name. Dance of the Mance. Get in. Hmm. I mean, the correct play on Metamized Prophecy there is to name the most trolly card that you could possibly name. But, uh, we're playing streamer events, so I'm not allowed to play that optimally. <laughs> Alright, well, we did it. We did the thing. What do we think? Cook Kiara, best of sea god, because we're not jumping into anything. We have no six drops, and we have nothing above this either. It's cool. I like it. I think it's just too expensive and we can't really justify it. Is that another Shimmerwing? So we've got twos into threes. We got threes into fours. You see, we've only got the one Shimmerwing. We probably want... We can put, like, Questing Beasts. We decided th there was a, no, a, a number of cards that weren't that great, but they were good enough. But there was no enchantment creatures, right? Four drop creature. Let's type enchantment. So these are our options. Archon of Sun's Grace isn't bad. Whenever you cast, whenever an enchantment enters, you put a two two Pegasus out. I like that. Uh, Thassa Deep Dwelling is not going to do as much good. Nylia is not going to do as much good. You're not doing do as much good. That's really about it, I suppose. Huh. For the lulls, let's get a Layla in here. Alright, so twos into threes. Threes into fours. One of them is a four into a five, and then we got board wipes. Life live. A rankles pranks a child's play. My games will topple kingdoms. Hell yeah. Alright, so how are we trimming this? I think we're going down Omen of the Hunt. And... Actually, might just do another Omen of the Hunt. Because we got eight enchantments here. Into four creatures here. And then we got four enchantments here. Or three, technically, I guess. Into two. Yeah, I think that's actually like the balance you're looking for. Let's craft it. Let's do this. <laughs> Dryad lets his caster. This is true. I think we'll very easily just get her off of uh, Gift of Paradise, though, and then we can use the Flash Omens, I guess, to uh, start producing fairy tokens. Still keeping Metamize. I have 
faith that it can not be disappointing a little while longer. But it could be that you want the, the wolf wild growth card. Can't remember its name though. As you two drop instead. I just like the card advantage, I think. Is what it comes down to. I mean, sure. This hand doesn't look spectacular, but we're doing it. Home of the sea. That's what you like to see. Alright. Tap land. Love me some preordain. We're up against the Boggles. And we draw, draw a Layla. Unfortunate. Alright, take three. Might be hard to beat this kind of draw from our opponent. Incarnation. I guess we want one, we don't want the land. Oh, that's a good draw. Dryads. And then we get to play tap lands. So we've got a Layla we can cast next turn. Season of Growth. So we've got game as long as they don't have trample, but one of the premium enchantments from this new set is that it gives trample. So we'll have to see. Transcendent Envoy, okay. Just lands for us is fine as well, if we can get that going. And we'll block that. Plane of Cleansing, you know, it works. You have to dodge the indestructibility, but, you know, it's a thing. Alright. That champion needs murdering. Oh yeah, it does. These plane of cleansing is what it needs. And now they got protection. Protection will not save you from a good cleansing. We get chump blocks with a Layla, which is nice. There's the trample. Going on the bronze hide lion, which is smart. They might not know how smart it is, but it's smart. Hmm. Yep, take four. I'd like to see him just tap out completely, and then we can go Incarnation. Oh, I don't even know. I think we're just dead. I don't think we stand a chance, chat. Yay! We've done it. Alright. Survive. Survive and keep Bronzehide Lion out of indestructibility range. They'd have to be silly to tap it out though. The whole point of playing Bronzehide Lion is that you never drop this two mana. Elspeth conquers death. Yeah, there goes a Layla. She exiled. She ain't coming back. Thank god they didn't go for Dryad. Although we actually do have the mana thanks to Gift of Paradise for playing a cleansing anyway. So they can get protection, but protection won't save them from destroy. Oh boy. Alright, block with everything. Good lord. That's the thing, alright. Let's see what we would draw. Uh, I don't need any of them. Put them at the bottom. It's a big kitty. It is. It's a big unprotected kitty. Is what it is. Whee! All right. Okay. That says and jump him. Back on the we're probably dead train, but at least we tried. <laughs> Transcendent envoy. Yeah, pump the champion. I need to answer that now, and we don't have the mana to do it. 
I guess I can shim a wing. So, Gift of Paradise here. Buys me enough time to go Cavalier next turn, I guess. And then we get to play Shimmer Wing. I can Incarnation kill my Gift of Paradise, but I need that. <laughs> the big caddy. The big kitty. He's dead, kitty. He's gone now. Alright, so we have to dodge Banishing Lights. Elspeth conquers deaths. All sorts. Yeah, they got it. Good game. We are buggered. Shock's in. That's five damage. Problem is, we need literally planar cleansing now. Oh, have they got a... Caramatrix Blessing. Okay. That'll do it. Hmm. I do like the cleansing path, though. I think we're on to some there. We'll play one more with it, and then we'll uh, switch up decks again. Keep on switching. You think Boggles will actually be a standard thing? Uh, I think you'll see it a lot. I don't think it'll be a good deck, though. I think it's lacking a little bit too much hexproof less creatures. That's its real issue, to be honest. And if they go with the the lion for the indestructibility instead, uh, then they've got to deal with the amount of exile that's in the format, which is it's growing. Uh, I can't keep this because there's no green. And no sign of it to come. Alright. This is alright. Drop you in the trash. And temple. We want all the lands. Give me them all. Every land. Hand them over. It's going to be champion into dryad, probably. If we have time. <laughs> you give me lands. More lands. Alright, so monogreen stompy, I guess? There's no good devotion green creatures. There is one that gives plus one, plus one for each green devotion pip, but it doesn't give any kind of evasion, so it needs to be stuck on a creature with trample or something like that for it to really matter. Alright, so let's draw a card. So hope to get a, a land. Good stuff. Play Metamized Prophecy. Draw. And then we'll scry for the next. Don't think we want any of them. We've kind of got what we want right now. Yeah, it won't be top tier. It might be a push. It could get to tier two, I suppose. It's kind of got that that um, that feather issue, I would say. Oh my goodness. The feather issue where if they don't have God's Willing, they lose kind of situation. I guess we're blocking here. Gift of Paradise. Choose a card name. Uh, we're going to go 2-3. Gift of Paradise. Got three mana. I guess we're going Enigmatic Incarnation on the turn that we go off. So we gain some life, we draw some cards, get a land, we can play Shimmerwing now, I guess, just as a blocker. Draw a card, because we're probably going to block Questing Beast. Dryad, okay. Hmm. So we want to save the Omen of the Sea, because we're going to Enigmatic Incarnation. Sack Gift of Paradise, get the Chimera Pegasus thingamajig, and then flash in Omen of the Sea to make a 2-2 lifelinker. We're curving quite nicely, actually. First Rowan Games, ouch. 
Okay. That's a problem. I think we're taking the four. Alright, do I want to bounce a thing? No. Alright, so when we cast the incarnation, we're going to draw two cards. So we'll get that out of the way now, I guess. Get a Gift of Paradise. Uh, let's do... Forest. One, two, three, one, two... So we want to leave Omen of the Sea open. We can do that by playing Dryad Forest. Draw a card. Alright. And... Do we want to start swinging? What does this do next time? Three counters on a creature you control. It doesn't quite put Questing Beast over the champion, which is good. I think we just pass. I don't know if we're in a good situation to really do a thing. Alright, so we wanted to sack Gift of Paradise. Could get Layla. I think Archon's the right one, though. And now we can flash in Omen of the Sea, make two twos, draw cards. This is sweet. I like this. Alright, the game with the 7 7. We're gonna block that. I'm pretty sure. So we could just die, and that would be unfortunate, wouldn't it, chat? Alright, so. Let's Archon. Uh, do we want any of these? I guess we do Metamize Prophecy. It works really well with the champion that we're planning on blocking with. It's a tough one. Could probably do better, but we could do so much worse as well is the real issue here. I'm going to keep it. It's risky, though. And we'll block here. Keep our setters and champion around. So we can draw cards. We get to look at the top card, chat. Isn't it exciting? Iron Scale Hydra, excuse me. I don't even remember this thing. If a creature would deal damage to Iron Scale Hydra, prevent it and put a counter on the Hydra. How about playing a cleansing next turn? How's that sound? If you control a creature with power far greater, draw two cards. Okay, well, we're not stopping that. Not in a, a nice way, anyway. Alright, so we know what's coming up. Let's... Let's draw some cards. Let's get that plane of cleanse in. Chimera, get Cav. Blow up the saga. I don't even know if we care that much about the saga necessarily, but it's, it's certainly a thing we could do. I'm just wondering whether or not we just keep playing into our planar cleansing. Got three, six, seven. We can play a metamized prophecy. I really want to set up like Dance of the Mance, I think. That's what we're going to search for. Make a 2-2. Two, two. We don't want either of those. I'm going to draw a card. Hmm. I think we want dance before cleansing. Hmm. Uh, just get the uh, Setters and Champion out as a blocker. Gain some life. And we will sack. 
Omen of the Sea. No, we don't want to get Omen of the Sea. Oh, we do, because we can do our Dryads. Draw two cards. Make it 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, now we have some champions to block. Oh yeah, I get what you mean. Thirty-two cards. So yeah, we want to own the sea, draw loads of cards, and try find dance in the manse, blow up the board, laugh. Why is this deck suddenly fun? Well, you know, a bit of tweaking. Sometimes when you've got a good idea, you know, it can be in a bad shell. We did it. All right. I'm certainly guilty of doing that kind of thing, where you kind of, you try to go a little bit too aggressively into the strategy instead of trying to, like, mid-range it, which I think is Archon's our lack of life solution. Yeah, for sure. I think we tried to, in the end, because I think this one's very much a, an aggressive let's get things done, but it's lacking in certain mana costs. Whereas I think this one's... It lowers the power level in certain aspects, for sure, but it's a little bit more balanced on the mana cost, so Incarnation does things. And it does things really well, actually. I really like this deck. This is fun. I actually like Metamized Prophecy more after that matchup. After we were just scrying and drawing like crazy. Send me this list late when you can. Absolutely. I'll, uh, I'll probably do a YouTube video on this one, so don't you worry. This one's been fun enough. Let's go again. And then we'll, uh, we'll switch decks. I've been going for four hours and 40 minutes so far. Feels like a lot longer, but here we are. Well, I guess it's about time to say thank you very much, guys, for hanging out with me today. It's been an absolute pleasure of a stream for the good old jank stravaganza. Thank you to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring the stream as well and allowing me to do wonderful things like this. Um, yeah, sure. Bit slow, but it does things. Also, if you're new to my channel, because I got some new followers today, uh, I am primarily a YouTube creator. So if you follow that link that just popped up conveniently uh, and go to my YouTube channel, I'll be posting some of my favorite decks from this stream uh, onto the channel over the next week, as well as obviously brewing some wonderful jank along the way. It's going to be it's gonna be a fun time ahead. Any favorite new cards so far? Uh, I really, really love the new Kiora. The new Kiora is very fun. Flickering nonsense and stealing things is very, very cool. I actually am... This, this deck might be my second favorite. It's not the most powerful deck in the world, for sure, but... It's, it's doing things. And I like the Vanifar well-constructed, you know, strategies. Where a, where a deck just every single card matters, you know? Alright, let's get Metamized Prophecy down. Uh, is this going to be a Planar Cleansing matchup? I'm leaning on it probably being a, a Planar Cleansing matchup, and I probably just want one as a hedge, because we got Gift of Paradise next turn. We name Shimmerwing with the Prophecy. Hello. We draw two cards from the Shimmer Wing. Shimmer Wing can then bounce Metamized Prophecy and just constantly reset it. Never enchantment ends the battlefield. Target creature gets plus one, plus one. Okay. Alright, so we're going to name Shimmer Wing. Chimera. Does it actually show you what I've named? It shows you what I've named, but it doesn't show you the card, right? You've got to know what I'm talking about. Which I really like that aspect of this card. It's probably bad design for new players, but still, I enjoy that aspect. But yeah, other than that, Athreos is pretty sweet. Uh, what else have we had? I don't know. We've actually stayed pretty, pretty close to... To our chest as far as like new strategies are concerned. Alright, so we are mono white boggling, I guess. Is that what we're planning on doing? It's a lot of damage, but as long as they don't have the idol on, we're gonna be good. Alright, so Shimmerwing draws me two cards. 
I'm fine with whatever these cards are, so that's why I'm not templing first. And then we'll temple. Don't need a second carnation. All right. Yeah, flicker decks are probably one of my favorite strategies. Um, definitely love them. I do really like control as well, but I'm not very good at it. Prophecy looks about as busted as I thought. It's a thing, all right. So yeah, Shimmowing's going to bounce Prophecy and just reset it, and we're going to keep re reusing it over and over again. Uh, we can go Incarnation, sack this Gift of Paradise gets uh, a Layla. So when we're bouncing our Prophecies and whatnot, we're going to make some Fairies. All right, take five. <laughs> yep, no blocks. I want to set up a situation where Plane of Cleansing wins me the game on the spot. So before that triggers and sacks itself, we're going to bounce it. Dryads. I like it. Uh, so we can go Dryads. Are we going? Yeah, we are going Gift of Paradise off the Incarnation. I'm just wondering because I'm going to have to shock myself to get it down. But that's fine. So I think we can take enough damage here because they're not really adding anything to the board. And two cards short of something like double all the glitters. It's going to be about the scariest thing that happens, I reckon. Uh, so I'm not blocking. If they do have the double all the glitters, I get to block one and survive. Alright, so my three drop is going to become a four drop. I think it's a Layla. Let's get a Layla out. Any new, cool new animations in the new set? Well, we've seen the gods. Uh, the Uro, or whatever his name is, is a very, very cool animation. The uh, Roxara, or whatever his name is, the red-black one, not so much, actually. Which is upsetting. Yeah. The Simic God has got a really sick animation. Uh, I really like Athreos' animation as well. It's just kind of a slow walk. It's kind of like a cool guys don't look at explosions kind of cool walk. Alright, so I think we're making a token. I think that's what we're doing here. Hmm. I think uh, we saw Pelu uh, Pelucranos as well. That one had a an interesting one. I know, why isn't Kevin enchanted? He looks very enchanted, right? But, you know, can't have it all. It would be actually busted if this was an enchantment. Good lord. You go into a six drop enchantment, I can't think of what that might be off the top of my head, but it'd be a thing. And then when he dies, you also get an artifact or enchantment out of your graveyard. Blessing. Okay. He's got flying, hexproof, indestructible. So we're taking five. Are we just going to wipe the board? <laughs> it would be so easy to wipe the board, but I guess we've got tokens. He needs protection. we got life gain. Mm, I think we can wait. Down to seven. All right, we are bouncing Dryad, I think. Just for an extra token. Set as in, all right. Set as in champion. And then we'll do Metamize Prophecy. Scry into a land, I guess. Make some two ones. Yep, there's some lands. Alright, so we'll take that land. We will draw said land. Play said land. And we've got a... Let's see. We've got two into a three. So we can get set as in champion... I think we're swinging with both. 
Setizen Champion and Dryad of Elysian Grove that we can get off the Metamized Prophecy, which I think is just fine. I mean, we could sack Shimmerwing and get Cavalier. I like that, actually. Oh, but then they get protection, so it's not going to do as much good. We'll go Prophecy into Dryad of Elysian Grove. Trigger Setizen Champion. Make a thick boy. Alright, that's what we want. Planar Cleansing coming whenever we need it to. So it's going to be an all attack, Planar Cleansing, and then just Dance of the Mance the entire game back. And we got one, two, three, four, five we can do Dance for. Which is exactly the amount of mana we have. Yeah, Layla gives flyers. Uh, plus one, plus oh. She's sick in this deck. She really is. She's absolutely the card for this deck. Uh, we do want to get to six. That is true. So if we draw a land, we've got six anyway. Uh, we will bounce Dryad of Elysian Grove. We don't want to push it, though, is the thing. All right, well... Swing with everything. And then Planar Cleansing. Because <laughs> we can. Opponent's board definitely cannot recover in the way that ours can. So we'll gain our life. We'll do our damage. We'll undo everything. Because they can sack this, uh, Al this Al Said if they really want to. Or they can use it to gain life. Either way, they're going to lose something. And then the protection does nothing. Ha ha ha. Okay. That's the best we're going to do. So we're going to do four damage. Blow up the world. Yeah, shot. Sure. Goodbye, Bod State. We'll see you next turn. Alright. Dance X6 next turn. Make all of our enchantments 4-4s. Uh, four and hopefully do some good stuff there. They have a 1-1 one -one and a Wayfarer. Yeah, they don't come back from this. <laughs> Not this rate. I love this deck. This deck's impressing me. So they can put a 1-1 counter on a thing. If only champion was enchantment. Oh god, yeah. If he was the old uh, the old Eidolon. Good lord. Yeah, the dream would be absolutely real. I'm surprised in the age of pushing cards for wizards that they actually didn't push this one even further. Because it could definitely be better. But I guess they want uh, they want a different card, I guess, for when we go back to Pioneer, and then we've got both Eidolon and Setizen Champion. Alright, so X6. And we actually only get three creatures. Oh. Huh. thought we had way more than that. It's fine, though. Let's just do it. Scry, no. Do we want Omen? Nah. And we'll decline. Could this ever be a best of three deck? I mean, maybe. The problem is that the cards are so integral all over the place. It's hard to sideboard with a deck like this. You add too much, you ruin the consistency of the deck. You add too little, you just get rolled over. Hmm. But I could definitely see a situation where if your opponent brings in, like, Graveyard Hate, you could side out Dance and go for, like, a mid-range enchantment plan. Alright, do I want to bounce? No. 
totally fine not bouncing. Choose a card name. Uh, let's have... I guess we're going to go Cavalier of Dawn next turn. Hmm. There you go. We'll get in with Shimoin Chimera. Kinda wanna keep the Metamized Prophecy around. It gets quad blocked though, and that's that's how they beat us. I think I'm fine with a quad block, right? Eh. We'll just go Dryad get uh the Pegasus. I think is the last one we're missing. Archon of Sun's Grace. There we go. Get 2 2 Pegasi whenever we play enchantments now. So if we draw an enchantment off the top, we're laughing. Yeah, Layla's dirty in this deck. Maybe she wants to be a 2 of as well. Because right now I'd love to sack Dryad and get in a Layla and swing over the top with my Pegasi, but she's in the yard. So I can never get her back. She would be nice as a two of. Uh, do I want to bounce? Yeah, we'll get rid of Dryad. Good game. We got the the hits in the sky just to win right now. Boop and boop. Yeah, this one's a weird one because it's really cool and janky, but it doesn't do the laugh out loud nonsense. The, uh, the Kiara deck definitely did. That was just absurdly nonsensical. But yeah, I like this deck. I'll, uh, I'll be sure to send you it, Seamares.